This is James Street. I used to live on James Street, and I used to walk up this street. And this is where I first saw Bruce as he came out from the Ruby Chow and walked up to this corner, across the street, and started down Broadway. This is the street that I walked along and on my way to Edison Tech. And uh, right here is where I noticed Bruce. And I used to get in front of him and kick the telephone poles, which are gone now, and uh, trying to impress him. And then one day I walked up and I asked him if he was Bruce Lee and if he did Kung Fu, and he said yes. And then I asked him if he'd teach me, and he said yes. And that was the beginning. And uh, follow this Broadway goes right up to where Edison Tech is. Okay, now this is uh, Salem Community College Central Campus, which used to be Edison Technical. Here in this little enclave is where I got my first workout with Bruce on that first day when he agreed to teach me. This building used to be attached to another building that looks similar now. This is all new. Okay, right here is where our apartment used to be, where Ed Hart, Howard Hall, And I used to live. It was also the first place that I got my first real lesson from Bruce. That night he came down, six o'clock, and I guess I became an official student. This road that now comes off Interstate 5 used to be a road that would go right over the hill to Chinatown. So when we finished working out, uh, that's where we would go. Yeah, this is one of the restaurants we used to go to, go to all the time. At that time, it was called the Lin Yin. And uh, it was one of Bruce's favorite hangouts. Oops. It's a store where Bruce used to buy a lot of magazines and browse through a lot of magazines. It's changed now, but he used to uh, used to have books from Hong Kong and stuff like that. Now it's some other kind of store. It's a place where we used to go for dim sum. They had uh, really good pastries here. And Bruce really liked this place. And at the time, the name of the place was the Gim Wing. Now it's changed to the China Gate. This is one of the Benevolent Association halls. Uh, actually, we saw some demonstrations here, Bruce and I, from Taiwan. Uh, we also uh, used to work out behind the place. This is an area where we used to work out. Of course, at the time, this was all dirt. Now it's concrete, but it's right behind the Benevolent Association. And 
open a gate and you can see the old sign. It says Gimli. This is a Ho Ho seafood restaurant. This is where we had our first school. There were 10 of us, including Bruce. We paid, we paid $10 a month. Dues, anybody who came after that was supposed to pay 15, but uh, you know, Howard had to go back east and pretty soon we couldn't afford this place. So we left here. That's when we started practicing in Leroy Garcia's front yard. This is the old Hong Kong restaurant. Another place where we used to eat, and a place where Fook Young later was a cook. As I said before, Fook Young taught Bruce a lot of forms from other Gung Fu styles. Okay, this was uh, Atlas Cafe. This is the Atlas. Atlas Cafe, this is one of our favorite places. And the guy who used to run this place was an old guy who was really pretty cranky and we'd go in there and he got around to waiting on us when he felt like it. But they had really good food, so we'd go here quite a bit. It's one of our favorite haunts and it's still here. And uh, Bruce used to like to order oyster sauce beef. Uh, also, tomato beef. And fresh fried or deep fried spare ribs. And Bruce was a voracious eater. He could eat a lot, but he never gained weight. This corner, this is uh, in front of the apartment house where these pictures of the celebration after Ed's wedding came from. Uh, it's now a parking lot, but it used to be an apartment house. This corner I used to work out with Bruce a lot. We'd stop and sometimes we'd get so hung up that he'd forget that he had to go you know, do his job down the street at Ruby Chow's. Right about here is the fence where this, or used to be the fence where this picture was taken. Also, the pictures for Bruce's first book were taken right here. To the left, now this is a parking lot, but this is on the corner down there, this is where the Ruby Chow restaurant used to be. Ruby Chow's used to sit right over there, and that's where Bruce lived, the top floor, and also that's where Fook Young lived for a while. Fook Young was a cook who taught Bruce a lot of different things from a lot of different styles. Behind Ruby Chow, Bruce used to have his uh, wooden dummy. Came up this road many a times, taking Bruce up here to practice. And a lot of times Bruce used to come after school. He'd come over here with me and, and then I'd drive him back into town. So Bruce spent a lot of time over here. This is Madison Park. It's another place where we used to work out. Actually, this is a place I wrote about where Richard Leong, the Charlie Fod man, zipped up and down the field and kind of amazed everyone.
Yeah, Bruce used to teach in the basement of this place. And like, like I said, the man who, I think he was a Boy Scout master here. Uh, he showed, he, he was from China. He showed Bruce a Jeet Kune. And I think that's where Bruce got part of his name for Jeet Kune Do. This is where Bruce used to come over and send me flying around my apartment. And this is where I lived when uh, he came over with Brandon and showed me his newborn son. Of course, the apartments are no longer here. And uh, one of the reasons I lived here was because right behind here, you see this building. This is CL Dojo. This is a place where I used to practice judo. Uh, this is CL Dojo. This is where I got my uh, second degree black belt, 1962. This is also the place where I was training one night and Bruce came up with a friend of his from Hong Kong whose father was a famous kung fu man. I wrote about him in my book uh, between Wing Chun and Jeet Kune Do. This man's father would never teach him uh, kung fu, so he became an acrobat. And he was touring through Seattle and hooked up with Bruce, and Bruce brought him down for me to meet him. Over here, there used to be a building. This was Collins Playfield. And there was a building here that Bruce and I used to practice in. Uh, we could go upstairs in the gym. Uh, now the building is gone, but they've created a little park out of this. Okay, we're at the grave of my good friend Edward C. Hart, who was Bruce Lee's second student and one of my closest friends. And it really bothered me when he died. But My son was gracious enough to give me the site right next to his, so I know that when I die, <laughs> this is where I'll be, right here, with Ed over there. And if you follow this up, and it's not that far away from where Bruce Lee is. If we just walk over this way. Here we are. At the side of Brandon and Bruce Lee.